Hey guys, it's Eric, and today I'm going to be showing you how to make this. It is a woven stellated isohedron, uh, similar to the woven stellated octahedron, which is this. But I'm going to be showing you how to make this. It's a lot spikier, it's really cool looking, and we're going to make it out of stone to be modules. Now, if you haven't seen my tutorial on that, I have a link to the description. But you're going to need 30 stone to be modules, and to prep them all, you're going to want to go to the back, fold these points to here. So this point goes down to here, this point goes up to here. You can see when we flip to the front, it forms a square. And if we fold along that diagonal and do that for all our modules, they will all be prepped. Okay, so let's begin. So take one module and insert it into another. And then take another module, insert it into the second one, and fold the first one over into it. And you see that we formed a triangular pyramid. Now, if we build off of that, and then put in our last piece like we did with the first one, you can see that we have two connected triangular pyramids. And if we build off that, we can make a third and you'll start to see that it's gonna form a circle. And we have a circle of five triangular pyramids here. So we want five triangular pyramids here. And that's what this whole thing is based off of. Triangular pyramids in circles of five. So now that I have four triangular pyramids, I'm going to want to take my overlapping flaps here, stick them together, and then insert a last piece, and that's going to create my fifth pyramid for me. So, there we go. We have our circle of five. And now I'm gonna look for another place where I can do a circle of five. So I can build off this. So if you'll notice, I have two triangular pyramids here. So if I stick a sauna B module there, and another one over here, then I have three, and I'll keep building off. So I'll add another triangular pyramid in here. And then I have one, two, three, four. So I connect my fifth one like I always do. And now you can see we have a circle of five connected to another circle of five. And while I'm building this, I'm just going to want to build these circles off of each other. So I can see that there are three triangular pyramids right here. So I can build off of those. And then I have four. So once you have four, you connect your overlapping flaps add in another module, and then you'll see that I have three different circles of five. And that's really what this whole build is, guys, just looking for those circles of five and the opportunities to make them. And I, so there really is no way to fold this. You're just looking for that pattern and building off of your first circle is really all this is. And so, once you have it down, it's actually really quite easy to make. So, we're just going to keep going with this. And I know that I didn't really show this in great detail, and part of it is because my pieces are very small. But it does get quite hard to work on camera if your pieces are large. And you know, save the environment, guys. Don't be a terrible person. So remember, once you have four, overlap the last flaps, add in a sauna B module, and that always forms your last triangular pyramid. So I'm nearing the end here, and once I get to the last couple flaps, I have to be, one, two, three, four, I have to be very careful about where I put my flaps. Because a lot of times, one, two, three, four, 
the flaps um, overlap and though you don't think that that um, completes whatever side it does so one two three four so that goes over here and let's see so I definitely one two three four so I definitely needed one there but now I'm getting quite cautious so I wouldn't have needed to add okay so let's see one two three and this will be my fourth and then my fifth one will be this flap so I'm sort of counting it out so one two three four okay so I'm just I'm going to add another piece right here and now I am done I just need to fold in the last flaps always looking for those fives and there we go a woven stellated isohedron and it's based off the those fives I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please leave a like and subscribe. It really helps me out. Thanks for watching.